the day and hour of Christ's second coming announced, October 6th. The voice of God is heard from heaven, declaring the day and the hour of Jesus' coming and delivering everlasting covenant to his people. Like pearls of loudest thunder, his words roll through uh, the earth. He spoke one sentence and then paused while the words were rolling through uh, the earth. Understand, in the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 36, the Bible says, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Understand that as we look at Father only, uh, one must understand that this tells me uh, uh, that there is urgency in obeying uh, God's voice. What is God saying? He is simply saying, now is the time to prepare. Now is the time that we should be prepared uh, for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Uh, there is a level of urgency within the call of God. But why is this urgency uh, should be had here to now? Because if the Father only knows when Christ will come, and the Father is saying, let us be prepared now, uh, we should understand that the Father knows why he is saying we should be prepared now. Uh, why not trust his word uh, today? Uh, why not uh, let us obey the voice of God in trying to make ourselves ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ? Let us ask God for the wisdom to obey the voice of God. That is the power of his word. Why not let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we hear the voice of God saying, prepare uh, to meet uh, Christ. We pray, O oh God, that you will grant us the power uh, to make it right with you. Uh, so that we will be able to meet you in peace when you burst the clouds of heaven. We thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, friends, uh, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.